Hey, dear Tyler, good morning. How are you doing? Um, how's your morning going? How have you been? Um, hope you've settled into the um, new year. Um, well, um, yeah, if you're a new Tyler, you're just joining us for the first time, um, I'd like to welcome you to dear Tyler. And I'd also like to wish you a happy, happy new year. Right, so um, I really hope you've been good, like I've already asked before. I hope that you've settled in properly. Um, you've got things, you know, you've put your plans into motion and all. I really, I really, really do hope so. Um, for me, it's been pretty, pretty um, busy. Uh, like I told you before, I did a whole lot of traveling, had my retreats and trying to put one or two things in place you know put things into perspective for the year um work has resumed for me um ministry is resuming by next week so um it's it's really really tough in the sense that there are a whole lot of activities going on but um yeah like i said it's an exciting year um, with so many things uh yeah so today's topic right or line of thought is when the hype is over uh you know generally as 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 people we 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 typically like celebrations and festivities there's this hype that comes with every celebration right so especially like new year there's this excitement that okay wow i made it through last year i'm getting to see you know a new year You know, everybody comes over, um, like I said in the previous post, I mean, the previous podcast rather, you know, the whole resolution thing, you know, there's a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of positive energy, a whole lot of positive energy during celebrations, right? So you see things like Christmas also, um, you know, especially the kids, you know, they wear new clothing. Um, When I went to... Taraba last year um, during Christmas and I just took a walk oh, within that whole Christmas week when I took a walk around I saw some kids you know they put on their denim jackets they wore their glasses you know there was just this whole hype around it um, and if you could confess right if you'd agree and you'd be as honest as possible you'd realize that the hype has died down and it's typical, right? It always, it always happens, right? It always, it always happens. Now, most of the things that motivate that, the hype generally is emotional, right? And most times it makes it exaggerated. I think growing up um, has helped to put things in a different light for me, and I believe for a whole lot of us. That excitement that we used to have about Christmas and festivities is no longer really there, right? We're just excited with the fact that we get a public holiday, we get time out, especially with family, just to be able to um, remove our minds, right, from the normal day-to-day work uh, or general hustle, right? So... But then, you know, that whole excitement is not there because you know that most times you're just going to um, just have that break and then you have to get back to work and all. But then again, you know, as we make all those resolutions, you know, we come back from crossover services, come back from retreats, um, come back from our reviews, you know, all of those things, you know, we usually pumped up, usually pumped up. And the first few days of the week or maybe the first few weeks, of the year um or that month rather that we expend a whole lot of energy we do things you know we're so pumped up like i said we're so energetic about a whole lot of things right wake up in the morning you know you've got those goals that you're achieving i mean that you're set to achieve you know those targets and all you know you just wake up you know excited you know you you, you, you find out those things that you said you're going to do, you do them, you're happy, you're excited, and all, and then, like, after a week, you're just like, oh, my God, I'm so tired. And um, it's just like, ah, 
Is it even worth it? Is it even worth it? You see, the reality is that celebrations are tied to a single day. After that day, it becomes awkward if you still celebrate it. Um, Today is the 6th, right? 6th of January. Maybe it's a little bit early. But from next week, if you start telling people Happy New Year, they'll be like, ah. Like, especially in Nigeria. By like next week, they'll be like, ah, that the year is about finishing. Do you understand? Um, People get so caught up in their daily activities that the hype of that celebration gets lost. Right? Or let's even say maybe by February, you're still telling somebody Happy New Year. Unless you haven't met the person that year, haven't communicated with the person that year, it seems really awkward. People are like, haven't you moved on from all of that? Haven't you moved on? Right? Um, And sometimes it happens, you know, to those goals that we set for the year. Right? That hype dies down. When the curtain of festivity is closed, right, and reality sets in, most people feel weary. You get, it's like the festivity was just a facade covering them from the responsibilities that they have, right? Um, or sometimes it gives that mental impression of newness, freshness, right? So a lot of, a lot of times, that's where the energy comes from. It's usually emotionally based, right? usually emotionally based and anything that is emotionally based cannot be trusted your emotions change right Tyler your emotions change from time to time Um, so when you do things based on emotions the they, they have the ability not to stand the test of time, in all honesty, right? In all honesty. They have the ability not to stand the test of time. So, is it that being emotionally wrong? No, it's not. It's not. Um, but then you need something more than emotion. More than emotion. Now, motivation in itself is typically emotional, right? Because... What happens is that by the time, you know, the whole hype is over and it's time for you to get to do those things that you set out to do, you know, the first day is awesome, second day is good, but then maybe the third day you're finding that struggle and then you're looking for that motivation a lot, right? I mean, looking for that motivation to be able to continue with the things that you want to do. Um, And you find out that it's really hard to be motivated, you know, it becomes a struggle, now, um, on Monday, I was going through Instagram and I, and I got um, through some of the reels on Instagram and there was one that stood out for me and it was perfect for today's um, podcast, perfect for today's podcast. Um, what you need right now is not motivation, but discipline. What we need is not motivation, but it's discipline. Agreeing to stay with what you've decided to do, right? That you just decide that you're going to show up because you said you were going to show up. It's that discipline that wakes you up in the morning. You said you're going to start waking up by five. It's that discipline that wakes you up by five. It's the discipline that makes you go over your goals for the year makes you go over the targets for the day it's your discipline that makes you pursue those targets there would be a lot of days that you're not going to feel like doing the things that you set out to do a lot of days will come in fact um the days that you may not want to do some certain things may outnumber the days that you really want to do it so if motivation is your keyword right you may have it really really hard especially if the motivational factor is going to be emotional there may be days that 
you didn't, uh, maybe prior days, um, you had longer days than you expected and you have to wake up by five, right? So maybe regularly you sleep by 10 and you said, okay, I'm going to wake up by five. And then maybe something happened the prior day or rather the day prior and you have, and maybe you slept 1 a.m. and you know you have to wake up by 5. Those kind of days you know you don't want to wake up by 5, right? Your feelings, right, your emotions are totally against that goal, absolutely against that goal for, for the day. So now it's about discipline. It's about discipline. And when discipline sets in, discipline is hard. Discipline is really, really hard. I think it's something that I learned last year um, when I started Dear Tyler. I'm trying my best to get the episodes out. There were honestly days that I didn't feel like sharing um, anything. I just felt emotionally drained. I felt so weak, right? And, um, and, you know, because I used to plan, like, okay, after this episode comes out, I plan for the next one, right? So probably by, like, Monday, I've planned out what I want to say on Thursday, right? So um, the days, like, on Monday when I'm meant to do the whole planning, I don't even do it. You get, um, you know, because of the lack of motivation and all. So the days that I do... It's because of discipline, because I set out to do something and it's my responsibility to get it done. My responsibility is to get it done, right? Um, Now, this is the, what I say, this is the hack about motivation, especially if you are into a business, into anything, personal development. Um, This is a light, this is a hack that I've, I've realized, right? Um... True motivation comes from achieving your goals and seeing the results. True motivation, right, comes from achieving your goals and seeing the results. So if you need motivation, right, achieve or, you know, achieve targets. Right, achieve targets. If you really need motivation. So maybe you set out and you had a plan for your day, right? What would help you stay motivated is, um, you know, having been or being able to achieve those targets. That's what really, really gets you motivated. So how do you help yourself? Because most times, um, even though we're still going to talk more about it in other um episodes right most times what you could do is to create a task a very simple task that you could do right and then just you know do it every time when you tick off a task it gives you the energy to tackle the other ones right every tick of accomplishment is the fuel for motivation every tick of accomplishment is the fuel for motivation so what do you do, right? Break those targets into smaller tasks, right? And so maybe you wanted to, like I said, read um, maybe a book a week, a book a month or however, right? Instead of just being ambiguous about it, right? What you could do is break it, right? Into, pick a book, right? And say maybe you want to read a book a month. And so pick a book and find out how many chapters there are in that book and so you could be like okay um there are 29 chapters in that book there are 30 days in a month so i'm going to read a chapter every day and every day that you do read that chapter it gives you the fuel and the motivation to do more right for the next day and sometimes you even find out that you even end up outdoing yourself right that you get to the point where um you are like wow i read this chapter and the chapter really helped me right and you get so pumped up i'm like i think i could do one more chapter now what happens is that you're beginning to expand yourself 
um, discipline has helped you to expand your capacity, right? And because you've been able to overachieve, you've been able to give yourself the added motivation for the next task. Right, so enjoy the hype. It's beautiful. The, the, the beauty about the hype is that um, it makes your mind go wild. It makes you to think a lot, you know, to have dreams, have hopes, have expectations. All of those things are absolutely, absolutely, absolutely vital, right? But when this hype dies down, what do you do? You look to discipline. You look to discipline. And you'd be like, I told myself that I was going to do this, so I'm going to do it. I found out that I had um, like a real challenge waking up early. Right, It's one of the disciplines that I want to um, imbibe this year. So I realized something. So I was going to wake up early on Monday, and I didn't. Right? Um, I think... I woke up, I want to wake up by like three to do some searching things and then plan for the day, right? Um, So I realized that I woke up by six, right? Now, I I found out that I I really love the whole bed, you know, the whole sleeping thing. So I tried this around that six, I was still drowsy and I was still still in bed. But I was like, okay, switch on the light. And I switched on the light and I felt very uncomfortable lying down. And within like five minutes, all the sleep wiped off from my eyes. All the sleep wiped off from my eyes. And then I actually started doing stuff. I started being productive in my day. And I was like, okay, wow. So I found a hack for me. So how am I going to wake up early now? So once my alarm rings, hopefully... Um, we have power, right? So hopefully Nepa keeps the light. So what I'm going to do is that, um, once it's that time, I will just stand up quickly and switch on the lights. And hopefully that should be able to um, drive out the whole sleep, sleep, sleep thing. And then I should be able to um, carry out the task of the day. You know, other things like maybe having to sleep early, you know, being extremely fatigued. You know, there are a whole lot of things. But then just surround yourself with things that would help you ensure discipline, right? And once you're able to achieve um, your targets, you would really find out that you have that motivation. You have that motivation, right? Let your hype come from seeing the things that you wrote down being accomplished. Right? Let your hype come from there, Tyler. So, um, yeah, this is my motivation for you. Or <laughs> I don't know if motivation is the right word, but yeah, this is the little words that I have for you this morning. And I hope that um, you'd be able to, you know, just go back to those goals that you've set out um, to achieve and, you know, really work on imbibing the discipline right finally it's it's easier to grow right so remember little steps little steps matter right so just be gradual with yourself be gradual with yourself but then make sure that every day you have achieved something do not allow a day go by that nothing was actually done right so this is me signing out for today um remember that i love you I believe in you, and I'm always rooting for you. Have an awesome day, Tyler. God bless you.